What's up, YouTube? Dave here on a New Year's Day. Happy New Year. Um, we're going to be trying a beer today. I'm sick, getting over this cold. Had a cold for a few days, kicked it, and then went a good week, and then um, showed up again. So I've been really sick the last few days. Really kind of screwed up my New Year's days off and work and whatnot. So I think I'm on the downward edge of it, though. So, man, people, if you're sick, don't go to work. You know, I know it's hard. We all can't just stay home and not get paid. I don't know if you have sick days, but this is clearly <laughs> somebody came to work sick, and instead of staying home, you know, they spread fucking germs to the whole office. But anyways, we're here to try a beer. This is a fairly new brewery in Connecticut, Fairfield Craft Ales. Uh, it's on Honey Spot Road in Stratford, Connecticut. If you are familiar with any of the breweries in Connecticut, Two Roads Brewing is literally five minutes, if that, from there. Um, it's really close to where I work, in my office. I had, a, had some time to kill one night, so I stopped over there. I had heard about it. Uh, it's a very small place, but they have a really nice bar. They had um, eight beers on tap this particular night. Um, this was their double IPA called Big Me. I guess a lot, of, all their beers are named after songs. I guess these guys are really big into music. I think the logo is a guitar pick. Um, oh, duh, it's right on the back. Rhythm and Brews. Nice place. Two guys really, really friendly. There was a couple guys in there chatting with uh, about beer. And, um, and what I'm going to say about this double IPA, it was like 9.7% alcohol. And as double IPAs go, brewed in Connecticut is probably one of the best ones I've had. Um, certainly, you know, the ones that get big play in Connecticut are like your Gandhi Bots from New England Brewing, Coriolis from New England Brewing. Or else it's a little different animal because it's a Nelson Top beer, so it's to me different. But I'm talking about these smaller, newer breweries that have started. Um, a lot of times you just go there and the beers to me all taste the same. This beer was fantastic. No booziness. Um, had all, to me, the components for me, what I love in a double IPA. Enough hoppiness, but not overly bitter. Sometimes, again, you go to these new breweries and they're thinking this double IPA has got to be slammed with bitterness in your face. Um, you know, Sip of Sunshine, which is brewed here in Connecticut, even though it's a Vermont beer, which is brewed at Two Roads, is a, a, a fantastic beer. But, you know, before people start stomping on it, saying, oh, you know, I'm telling you, from some of these new upstart breweries, this is one of the best, if not the best, double IPA I've had. Uh, so, nicely filled right to the top. And I've had this probably, geez, maybe two weeks, so hopefully it didn't lose too much. Um... Like I said, I've been sick and I have so much good beer in my fridge that it's a shame. Because normally after the first year, I go on a little bit of a beer hiatus. So, pours a little bit hazy, nothing crazy. I just took this out of the fridge maybe 10 minutes, so maybe it has to warm up. But, very slight head. That could be the 9%. Um, and like I said, I... I had one beer there, and I I couldn't really have another one because at 9.7 percent, man, I hadn't had a lot to eat, and it was gonna, and I was going to a party, so I didn't want to, you know, drink a drive, uh, so I had to maintain the lacing. And it's really cold; I could feel this glass. Yeah, this one you're just getting a lot of malt in the glass. I don't know what that is. Here you're getting a little more of the. I loved it because it was. Well, let's taste and go from there. Yeah, man, it's 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 got a little bit of fruit, but not crazy. Real, just a fine bitterness up front, just from the hops, and then fades off. I can almost taste a little sweet, caramelly, caramelly kind of malt going down. Uh, it doesn't have a huge malt backbone, huge malt presence. Uh, it's got a little bit of dankness. Uh, I don't know what the hop profile is here, uh, but if like I said, these guys had eight beers on tap. I tried another one. It was named after a Littlefoot song. It was brewed with like smoked malts, honey, and um, chili peppers. And I tell you, I don't know if I could knock back a whole pint of it, but it was fairly, it was very tasty. Um, just fantastic beer, you know. Um, you don't taste the booze at all in it. Uh, it can be dangerous at 9.7%. Again, it's called uh, Big Me. Like I said, it's probably in, in the growler for almost two weeks now. So, but if you get a chance to check them out, man, 
really good. I can't wait to try some more of their stuff. Um, we'll go from there. You guys enjoy the rest of your Sunday. No work for me tomorrow. We'll talk to you later.